Hey guys, welcome to the beginning of our next project. Since I'm kind of stalled out on the current project, the 1968 Corvair, we're going to jump into something else while we're waiting for the paint to finish stripping off the body. And we're going to go with something a little bit different this time. I know I usually do cars, but uh, we're going to jump into a kit that I've been looking at for a little while and just decided I'm going to pick it up. It's very simple. It's one of the easy Gundams. It's the entry grade, which are very simple, very old school. And I'm going to see if I can't complicate this more than it really needs to be. So uh, let's open it up and take a look at what's in the box. Okay, these Bandai kits really are great. I built a few Gundams, haven't done it in quite a while. But uh, these really are great kits. I mean, and this is entry grade, which means if we look at the uh, box, pretty much a snap together. No tools, no paint, no stickers, which means no detailing. So that means that in order to make it look good, we're going to have to uh, play with some paint to really bring it to life. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's take a quick look at the uh, instruction sheet. You can see how the gun plot system is what they call it. And it breaks everything down into sections, each for each individual part of the mobile suit. So it's going to make it really easy to find parts. I love their labeling method, similar to Stamia. So that you'll have a letter for each sprue, which will help you to easily find the parts you need. And basically it's uh, just a simple fold-out book, single page, each individual part of the body as it all goes together. Down back you have our color photos showing you the features of the kit once it's done. little bit of info on what Gundam is if you guys haven't tried it I recommend it it's they're really great kits now I'm an old-school Gundam fan not really crazy about the new Gundam as they've kind of changed what the original purpose of Gundam is and turned it into a super robot type of thing so this is going back to the original RX 78 model which is one of the first Gundams that, uh, that were out, or at least uh, here in the United States. And here it gives you a little bit of detailing tips, telling you to put a little bit of extra work in there, you can get a really nice result. Introduction to Gunpla Technology. So if you've never done it, this is a great kit to jump into, as it's a very easy, simple kit. So let's take a look at what's in the box again. One thing I really like about these Van Dyke kits is that they mold everything in color. And the trees are all attached to each other, even though they're different colors. I love how they do this. Now this is for people who don't want to paint. You can just assemble the kit as is. And you'll have your kit going together and looking pretty good even though you're not going to do any detail work to it as the colors will add detail to the kit and give you a nice model that you don't have to put that much work into so here we have all of our yellow parts red gray blue really good that's going to be quite a bit of painting that i'm going to be doing to this Let's take a look at what else is in here. So we have our first two trees. And our next part, we have our mostly body parts, which are primarily white. Although, this particular white I am not thrilled with. It's got almost like a greenish tint to it, which is not really going to work for me. I'm going to try and give it a little bit more of a realistic color. 
I'm thinking of uh, a flat white of some sort, maybe to me a racing white, which is almost got a little bit of yellow-ish tint to it. So it'll make it look a little bit aged and not just a pure stark white, which will help with some of the weathering that I plan on doing. So that's basically it. These four sprues are the entire kit. And here we can see part of the head, the shield, even though this is a simple kit, the detailing really isn't bad. I mean, there are no panel lines to speak of, and I don't think I'll be engraving any panel lines or anything like that in this one, as I'm going to try and do everything basically with paint. Just doing a box stock build with nothing more than paint application and seeing how it turns out. I really do prefer the higher grades of these kits as they are much more detailed. And if you know anything about the way I build, I love details. Alright guys, this is going to be just a short introduction to what we're doing here on this project, and uh, that's going to be it. So if you want to see how this Gundam turns out, just like, subscribe, you know, give me a thumbs up, it never hurts. But this, uh, if you subscribe, you can follow along and see this entire thing as it goes together, at least until we can get back to the other Corvair build. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this one, and I will see you on the next one.